In this video, we'll look at adding pictures to WebPlus websites. This is really easy to do and is great for enhancing your designs. As you can see, I've already opened the Aperture template in WebPlus. If you want to follow along with this video, you can access this template from the Startup Assistant. Select Templates on the left and then click Theme Layouts, Aperture. Click OK. The home page is displayed in the workspace and selected in the site tab. Throughout the design, you'll see these envelope shaped placeholders, which are empty picture frames. Let's add a picture to this placeholder frame now. The assets tab is great for storing content you can use in your designs. It even has a dedicated pictures category. You can add your own pictures to this category to make them available for whenever you need them. To do this, Click Add at the bottom of the Pictures category, navigate to your pictures and select the ones you want to use. You could use Control click to select multiple photos or Shift click to select adjacent photos. Then click Open. Your pictures will populate the Pictures category on the Assets tab. In the category, select the picture you want to add and then drag it onto the placeholder frame. When the inside of the frame turns blue, release the mouse button. The picture has appeared in the frame and has been cropped to fit. OK, let's look at adding pictures to a blank page. On the Site tab on the right, click the down arrow next to Add New Page or Link and click New Blank Page. Give your new page a name and then click OK. You'll see that the new page has been added to the Site tab. You can insert pictures in a variety of ways. Click Insert Picture from Disk on the Basic Toolbar on the left, or from the Insert menu at the top, click Picture. Here there are a number of options to choose from. You can insert a picture from Disk from Assets or from a remote link. If you've got a scanner and want to add pictures direct from the device, select Twain and then choose to select Source or Require. Finally, you can insert empty picture frames. This is particularly useful if you're starting from scratch and want to define the positioning of your pictures on your site but aren't quite sure which pictures you'll be adding just yet. To insert an empty frame, select the option from the menu and then click and drag the frame onto your page. I want to add another frame to the page that's exactly the same size as this one. The quickest way to do this is to copy the frame. Select it and then press the control key on your keyboard. Drag away from the first frame and you'll see another identical frame appear. You can fill these frames in exactly the same way as before. If you change your mind, simply drag another picture onto the frame. If you don't want to add a frame first, you can simply drag a picture from the Assets tab onto the page. Resize it using the resize handles and then reposition it as required. Dynamic guides and margins may appear as you move the pictures around the page. Use these to make sure your pictures are lined up correctly and are equally spaced. See WebPlus Help for more information. I'll add another placeholder frame to fill up this empty space. If you select an empty picture frame, you'll see two buttons underneath. These are the Replace Picture from Disk and Replace Picture from Assets buttons, which provide another way of filling frames with pictures. I'll select Replace Picture from Disk, select a picture and click Open. Now there is a picture in the frame. Several other buttons have appeared in the control bar below the frame and these can be used to improve picture composition by zoom and pan. For more information, Watch the second video in this series, Pictures 2, Framed Picture Positioning. Before we finish, let's look at adding a stylish outline to our pictures. With a picture selected, select the Line tab at the top right of the workspace. Drag the slider to the right to increase the width of the line. Keep an eye on the selected picture to see how the outline looks. To change the colour of the line, select the Colour tab and then click the Line button. 
Drag the sliders to find out a colour you like, or select a point on the colour spectrum below. I'd like a white outline, so I'll click the white swatch on the left of the spectrum. Repeat this process to enhance your other pictures. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the basics of using pictures in your site and giving them a stylish look. To find out more about WordPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.